Oh, Saltius, a girl. You guys look like you're having fun. Daddy, look out! Oh no! My tools! They're all rusted! The combination of salt and water are powerful corrosives to many metals, especially my tools! Corrosives? Did somebody say corrosives? <gasps> Kong, you're here to save the day? I don't know about saving the day, but I am here for chemistry with Kong. Oh, even better. Take it away! Let's look at the elements iron, oxygen, and hydrogen. These elements are all you need for corrosion. When iron, Fe, interacts with oxygen, O, and the combination of hydrogen and oxygen in the form of H2O, water, rust will form. This rust is a form of corrosion. It's what happened to my tools! Yes, in the case of Professor World's tools, his tools have iron in them. They have rusted because they've been exposed to oxygen and water. But the rusting process was accelerated due to the combination of Saltius's powers and Akuro's powers. Indeed! Isn't it fascinating? Let's examine that combination. If we add another factor to this process, like salt, also known as sodium chloride, or NaCl, it will require the iron to react with the oxygen, water, and salt. This particular combination will speed up the rusting and corrosion. It's a good thing I can fix this. That's the spirit! It's a good thing you can remove rust chemically or physically. It's time for an experiment! For this experiment, you will need the solutions you are testing. In this case, you'll need soda, ketchup, lemon juice, baking soda, vinegar, chicken. Chicken? We don't need a chicken. My bad. You'll also need rusted metal, petri dishes, and tongs. We're going to see which solution works best at removing rust. This is the chemical way of removing rust. This is also an experiment you can try at home. But remember, ask an adult for help. We chose each of these because they have a different level of acidity. We are going to test which will remove the most rust. These metals will be soaked in each of these ingredients. After we let them soak, we'll see which one works better on rust than others. Now that we've submerged the metals, we're going to let them soak and we'll be right back. Alright, now that we've let them soak for a while, let's check out the first one, is soda. Okay. As you can see, the soda really didn't do that much at all. Hmm. Okay. To the next one. Let's see what the ketchup's done. Wow, that's a lot of ketchup. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. Come on, ketchup, what do you got? Oh, whoa, the ketchup actually did something. Whoa, I don't really see that much rust at all. Wow, look at this. Okay. I'm impressed by you, Mr. Ketchup, and delicious. Okay, here we go. The next one we're gonna check is the lemon juice. Oh, you can see the rust just coming off of it right there. Let's put it down, check it out. Oh. You can see the rust is like kind of coming off of it. The lemon juice works pretty well too. But you can see there's a lot of rust on the edges right here. Um, okay, let's keep going to the next one. The next one we have is baking soda. Okay. Oh, oh, baking soda didn't do really well at all. There's a lot of rust on that guy. That, that is almost as bad as soda, baking soda. <laughs> baking soda, look at, I still see a ton of rust on baking soda. Okay, um, let's see what the next one is, vinegar. We have vinegar. Oh, you can see that rust is already floating around. Oh, this one's gonna be a good one. Oh, oh, look at all this rust falling off. Okay, now let's see what happens when I rub it. Oh. Wow, wow, the vinegar is doing really well. 
Okay, the vinegar, let me just double check. The vinegar did so great, look at that. Wow, between the vinegar and the ketchup and the lemon juice, this rest has no chance. Wow, look at this. Just by looking at this piece of metal, you can see that vinegar was the best at removing rust compared to the other ingredients. Amazing! Science! Science! Now that we've chemically removed rust, let's physically remove it. It's time for a second experiment. The physical way to remove rust is with a sandblaster. Let's send this rusted wrench to get sandblasted. Sandblasting is also known as abrasive blasting. It works by blasting sand onto the surface, removing debris. It can remove things like paint and, you guessed it, rust. You can see visibly it's removing rust right now. See, as the sand is blasted onto the tool, it removes, cleans, and smooths the surface. And now, it's perfect. Hey, can I see that? Now that the surface is cleaned, we should protect it. You know what that means. It's time to send it out to get it primed and painted. Oh, thanks. Now that my tools are clear of rust, I can use them again. That's all for Professor World today.